Let's take a look at some uh, multiple forms that we can use. So in this case, we can look at the year, for example. Here we have something that's a, a kind of like a, a famous book that doesn't really have a very clear maybe publication, one-time publication. Most books, most journals are going to be very clear. They come out once. What about if you have something like the Bible? What are you going to do with that? Well, in that case, you're going to do what you can to help the reader see which one are you using, because there could be different ones, different versions. So that's this idea of version. So here we write the title, the Bible, because it doesn't have one author, does it? It's the authorized King James Version. So here we write out the version. Oxford University Press, 1998. So if I'm going to go look for this, if I'm going to try to find this Bible that you're citing, then I know to go to Oxford University Press, 1998, and it's the King James Version. What about different editions? Because books have different editions, and those editions can be different. Not always radically different, but somewhat, di somewhat different. So here is the author's name, Shevitz, Eric, last name first, first name last. The Poetics of Imperialism, Translation, and Colonization from the Tempest to Tarzan. So this is the book name. How do we know it's a book name? Because it's italicized. Now then, we have the period here at the end, but then we're going to explain. What is this version? This is the expanded edition. How do we know it's the expanded edition? Because in the, on the book cover or on the inside page, the copyright page, it says the name. This is the Poetics of Imperialism, Translation and Colonization from the Tempest to Tarzan, Expanded Edition. It says that somewhere, Expanded Edition, right there. It's published from University of Pennsylvania, T, which means publishers, or could mean printers. I think in this case it's publishers, University of Pennsylvania, publishers, 1997. Miller, Casey, and Kate Swift. Last name first, first name last, and then first name first, last name last. Two authors. Words and Women, so this must be the book's name. Updated Edition, so here we have the period, and then Updated Edition. Harper Collins Publishers, 1991. Newcomb Horace, last name first, first name last. He's the editor. And the name of the book is Television, The Critical View, 7th edition. This is the edition. So here, he's the editor, which means that this book probably has many chapters. But we're not citing any chapters. We're talking about the book overall. We're just going to cite this overall book. So we just go ahead and list the editor first, and he's the one editor. Not editors, because there's only one and it's from Oxford Press, the seventh edition. This is like those classic books, like the Bible we were just talking about, only here we know it's William Shakespeare, so Shakespeare, last name first, first name last. The Tragedy of Othello, so this is the name of the play in this case, and it's in a book, so it's edited by Barbara Mowat and Paul Wurstein, and the version is 1.3.1, so that's a very specific version. Luminary Digital Media 2013. So that's a nice little example of a very specific version number. Software, for example, very often has a version number. If you were to cite software, you would want to have the version number just like that.